Pregnancy is a pretty amazing process. It all starts with sperm cells from a man and an egg from a woman. Sperm are tiny microscopic cells that are made in a man's testicles. Sperm cells mix with other fluids to make semen, which comes out of the penis during ejaculation. Eggs live in the ovaries of a woman and the hormones that control the menstrual cycle cause eggs to mature every month. These hormones also make the lining of the uterus thick and spongy in preparation for a possible pregnancy. Every month, one mature egg leaves the woman's ovary. This is called ovulation. That egg travels through the fallopian tube and this takes about 12 to 24 hours. If semen gets into the vagina, which happens if a man ejaculates inside a woman during sex, sperm can swim up through the cervix, uterus and fallopian tubes searching for an egg. Sperm cells can live in the body for up to six days waiting for an egg to show up. Millions of sperm come out during each ejaculation but it all takes one sperm to meet with one egg which will lead to pregnancy. When a sperm cell finally meets and fuses with an egg, it is called fertilization. After that happens, the fertilized egg begins to divide into more and more cells and moves towards the uterus. The ball of cells gets to the uterus about three to four days after fertilization where it can float around for another few days. If the ball of cells attaches to the sponge uterine lining, pregnancy officially begins. And this is called implantation. It usually takes around three to four days to finish implanting. Up to half of all fertilized eggs naturally don't implant. They pass out of the body during menstruation. When the ball of cells implants into the uterine lining, the body starts making pregnancy hormones. These hormones keep the uterine lining in place so it can nourish the pregnancy and that's why ladies don't get their period when they're pregnant. But if sperm and egg don't meet up or a fertilized egg doesn't implant into the uterus, the lining isn't needed and it flows out of the vagina. That process is known as menstruation. So it actually takes a lot of steps for pregnancy to happen and the whole process can take up to two to three weeks. Do you want to learn more about pregnancy, visit www.thesubjectmatter.org.